Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about fast HTML. We will start by explaining what is fast HTML and then we'll see how it is different from other frameworks. And then we will create an application in fast HTML so that you will understand how it works. Now let's see what is fast HTML. Fast HTML is designed to make web development easy and quick. A single file is all you need to create any app you can imagine. You can build modern web apps entirely in pure Python without needing to write separate HTML files. Fast HTML keeps things simple by letting you build both backend and front end using its built-in HTML component. Now let's see how fast HTML is different from other frameworks. So normally you will write HTML code separately but with fast HTML you can write HTML elements directly as Python code. This means you don't have to switch between different languages. For example instead of writing a regular HTML div tag you can create a div object in Python. This approach also make your code cleaner and easier to manage. Since you are using Python you can take advantage of of all features of the language like loops and conditionals to dynamically render your web content. So this is the official documentation of fast HTML where you will find more information about it. So fast HTML is a new generation web framework for fast scalable web application with minimal compact code. So fast HTML is a Python library so you need to install it with this command. So it is already installed in my system. Now let's start by creating a simple fast HTML app that will return a hello world message. For that you just need to import fast HTML from fast HTML and uh, also we are importing serve function. So here we are creating an instance of fast HTML and here we are using app.route decorator for this URL. So whenever user will visit on this URL, it will call home function then it will return a string with a plain HTML in which hello world is written. And here we are using serve function that will run our application. So now let's run this app. It is running on this port. So if we visit this port, you can see if we get this hello world on this web page. So this was the basic way to return a string. We can use some HTML components. So here we are importing everything from fasthtml.common. So we are using h1 function here that will work same as the h1 tag in HTML. So if we run the server and visit the page, you can see we have hello world here. So it is using inbuilt CSS from fasthtml and we can use div function that will work as the div tag in html and inside this function we can use a attribute that is hx get and it will redirect the user to this endpoint without refreshing the page it will work same as ajax in flask and now we just need to define a function for this endpoint so we will create a route for this endpoint when user will make a request on this url it will call get function and then this function will return a string in h1 so you can see here we have hello world on this page and if we click on this hello world then it call get function and we are able to see this string and also we can see that page is not refreshing so we just created a app where we render simple string now we are going to create an advanced application in which we will perform CRUD operations for book management system with login logout functionalities and also we are going to integrate database in this app so here we have some fields where we can add the information about the book and here we have a book list and from here you can edit the book details and by clicking on the book title you can delete this book now let's start building this app in code for that we will first import everything from fasthtml.common so that we will import all the functions and classes that we are going to use in this code and then we are going to set up our database db variable will hold the database connection and the database function initializes a new SQLite database located at uh, this path. So database will store information about the author and books. So here we have defined a database schema class for user which have two fields username and password. Here we have defined uh, another schema for book which have some fields for storing details of book. And this line will create table for user object with the primary key username and db.create book will create a table for book object this will automatically generate primary key id so here we have defined a function lookup user which will verify the username and password and if user not found it will create a new user this line will create an authentication middleware using lookup user function and it check the credential for each incoming request and here we are initializing the fast html application with the middleware and some headers equaling and root styles. This will add inbuilt CSS to our application. Now we are going to define a function that will take keyword argument as a parameter and it will return input field for that keyword argument. And here we are going to define a function that returns a div to clear details when a book is deleted. 
Now let's start creating fields where we will take input. So here we have defined get function where we are going to create a form in which we are going to take input of book details. This form function will create a form tag in HTML. So here we are creating multiple input fields for title, author, price, pages, etc. And also we have a checkbox here. So here we have a button to add these details. When this button will be clicked, it will send the post request to this URL. And here we have set the target ID attribute to book list. When this button will be clicked, all the detail will be shown in this card. And here we are using patch decorator. This decorator adds functionality to the book class. And then we are defining a function. So this is the main function being passed to the book class. It generates a table row representing a book details. So in this line, AX will create a anchor with the book's title linking to this URL. Uh, and this function will construct a table row. Each TD holds different attributes of the book instance such as title, author, price, pages, etc. Here we have set the route for this URL. So this will take ID in the URL. From here we will get the ID of that particular book then we will use delete function to delete the book and then delete function will return the clear detail function which we have defined here here we have defined a route for this url where we will receive a post request that we are sending here basically it will insert the data in books table here we have defined a function to edit the book details we have some input fields that will send a put request to this url and here we have defined a function which will handle the put request and then update the book details in the database. So in this function, we will get the book detail by its ID. Then it will return book title and the delete button. And here we have defined a delete button, which will make a delete request to this endpoint with the book ID. Okay, so now let's check the flow of this app. So here you can provide the username and password. So this function will verify the username or password. If does not found any user, it will create a new user. So these are the fields that we have defined in this function. So when we add the data of the book, we get the book details in this table where we can edit the detail. And you can see here I changed the book title and if you click on book title, it will render a delete button with the book ID. And uh, if I delete this book, it will delete it. So this was the flow of book management system in fast HTML. And I have shared the source code in the description. You can check that out and upgrade the functionalities as per your requirement. So if you found this video useful, you can like it. And to get more content like this, you can subscribe to the channel.